UK is about to introduce a crazy new rule that means anything that's over 100 grams will need remote ID. It's the same in Japan and I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this Tune RC 3 inch toothpick and get it under that 100 gram threshold. Now this video is going to be aimed at both the UK Japanese market but also the American market because we're going to keep it digital. However, we're not going to go DJI because I know you guys over there in the USA are having real problems with the DJI. So let's kill three birds with one stone and let's change this to HD zero. Let's freaking go. So let me introduce you then to what exactly we're going to do. We're going to take this apart. We're going to remove the 04 Pro. We're going to put in a Runcam HD zero. We're going to put in a MIPI cable, but also the five in one HD zero VTX and flight controller that should and I haven't done the sums, strip away enough weight to get us under that 100 gram threshold, which, as I say, is a little bit crazy. The UK has definitely lost its mind a little bit, but uh, it's where we live, it's what we do. And like I say, it should help some Americans as well who are a little bit concerned about the impending ban from DJI. So let's begin this build or unbuild, rebuild, decommission, recommission. Let's freaking go. So some of the plans that we had for the Tune RC toothpick we haven't been able to do. The eagle-eyed amongst you will see that we actually have a flight controller and an ELR and a HD0 sorry VTX in here. Uh, we'd actually planned to go with the all-in-one as I showed you in the intro. Unfortunately the all-in-one doesn't work with the decent camera so therefore we couldn't do that and also I didn't have a canopy wide enough for the narrower cameras. So HD0 is really frustrating. It's like you make a few good sets forward and then you've got to sort of compromise and go back a little bit. Uh, and I know that's going to annoy the HD0 fanboys because they do get really angry whenever you question anything. It's good, but it's also ridiculously frustrating at the same time. But anyway, that's enough about that. I just wanted to clarify what this build is and what we're doing. Okay, the idea was to use a single board um, and a decent camera, but unfortunately, the decent camera doesn't work with the single board. So we've had to use a VTX and an all-in-one flight controller. We've removed the 04 Pro. We've added a decent HD0 camera and a HD0 uh, VTX. So let's see what the weight looks like. Now it was about a whole key. It's about the same as with an 04 Pro. It's about 130 grams with an 04 Pro. Um, let's move that out of the way slightly. And just to clarify, just bring it into uh, into shot. That is with the HD Zero VTX. So not only is the system really frustrating to build because of the, all of the complete different nuances that it offers and provides, it's not actually saving us any weight, which is uh, the whole point of this build. Now, I know the whole canopy thing, we can change that. We can reduce loads of weight with the canopy. I don't think we can reduce 30 grams with it, though. So, uh, yeah. But still, never mind. Let's go out to the field and fly and see if it's actually fun to fly because... That's ultimately what it's all about at the end of the day. Let's freaking go.
does fly really well with HC0, don't get me wrong. It, I just don't have the same confidence that I do with DJI. It's nice. There's no denying that. Uh oh, something's just come off. I think that might be the receiver. Let's try and cool this VTX down a little bit. I just say we are recording on the uh, OSD. So we should be recording on the OSD. These rates do seem a little bit lower than... Uh, oh, they tried to dive on me. Than what we set at the weekend. Yeah, that snow is just horrible. For a VTX and goggle set that costs the same as DJI, difficult to get behind, I've got to be honest. Difficult to get behind. Super fun though. There is no question about it. I do have a lot of fun with HD Zero. A lot of fun. It's a very cold one in the UK today. It was zero degrees this morning. And uh, it doesn't feel much warmer this afternoon. Yeah, I'm not like it. It's good fun. I don't think I'll ever replace DJI. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Can actually hear the ping of the metal as we went so close to it there. Okay, let's bring it back and land it. That was fun. Ultimately then, and because of the way that we had to configure this build in the end, it didn't come in at under 100 grams all up weight. However, there are things that we can do to to move this forward, we can use the AIO 5-in-1 from HD Zero, which I did try and use, but it doesn't work with the nice camera, so that's a bit of an issue. We can redesign a canopy and get a much lighter and smaller canopy, because this is the O4 Pro canopy. And we can, yeah, just... We can probably get closer to 100 grams all up weight in the end. Whether or not we'll get under 100 grams all up weight is another story. But that said, this has been a really fun if a little bit frustrating build and it doesn't half fly really really well doesn't it if you've got any questions whatsoever please do drop them in the comments down below but until next time peace out legends
YouTube and I have had a chat, and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most, so watch it and let me know if they're right.